you talk about something called the soul's high adventure. My general formula for my students is follow your bliss. I mean, find where it is and don't be afraid to, to follow it. Can my bliss be my life, so well, love, or my it life's will be work? Your is life. it my work or my life? Well, if the work that you're doing is the work that you chose to do because you are enjoying it, that's it. But if you think, oh, gee, I couldn't do that, you know, that's your dragon that's locking you in. Oh, no, I couldn't be a writer. Oh, no, I couldn't do what so-and-so is doing. Unlike the classical heroes, we're not going on our journey to save the world, but to save ourselves. And in doing that, you save the world. I mean, you do. The influence of a vital person vitalizes. There's no doubt about it. The world is a wasteland. People have the notion of saving the world by shifting it around and changing the rules and so forth. And no, any world is a living world if it's alive. And the thing is to bring it to life. And the way to bring it to life is to find in your own case where your life is and be alive yourself, it seems to me. That's the power of the teacher, isn't it? To, to bring vitality to others, to make others see the vitality in them, children. Well, it happens. That's one of the delights of teaching. I mean, when you're not teaching in order to have an easy job, but because you, you really have something to teach and you love young people and you want to give what you've got found to them. And to see them come alive is, is the reward of teaching.